Before we dig into this lesson, let's do a really kind of quickie review. We've looked at favorites. We drag things into favorites. We click on them in favorites. They appear over here. We select an image. We then do whatever we want to. Open it in Photoshop. Start working. We've looked at ratings and we've looked at labels. But you got to know that labels and ratings are very limited in what they say about an image. It doesn't say it's two people talking. It doesn't say it's Kerpalu. It says it's five star. So we need more control than just simply labels and ratings and even stacks. We talked about stacks too. Let's talk about metadata and keywords right over here. Let's start with metadata. When you select an image, you will get information about the image based on what's stored within it. For example, if it's a digital photograph, you're going to see f-stop, shutter speed, all that fun stuff. If you go into file properties, you'll find out specific information, when it was created, when it was modified, the type of camera that took the photograph, all kinds of things. If you go into IPTC core, you notice I do have one or two things already there. You can add your own information here. Like I am the creator of this photo. So I'm going to type my name. Now, when you make changes to core data, you want to click down here on this little tiny check mark and that sets the data for you. Or you can cancel if you don't want to set that particular set of data. All of these photos were taken in one place. So the core data to me would be something that I would want to apply to all of them. So let's say for the sake of argument that you work for a particular client maybe or something like that where you're always taking photos more or less in the same place. I mean, that's not all you do, but a large chunk of your life is in Kerpalu. Well, if you go up to this button right here, you can create a metadata template. Now, let me show you one I've already done, and it's called Kerpalu. Now, I didn't add very much here. I just want to show you this. I've got creator, the creator city, the county, keywords, all of this information in the metadata template. What you can then do, saving it, of course, is select an item or items that you want to apply it to, and you can come right up here again and tell the computer to append or replace. Now, appending means if it already has some metadata in it, leave that there and just append this information on. If you say replace, it's going to replace it with whatever this template has in it. So the metadata of the image can help us further find things. Let's talk about keywords too. Now, if we get into keywords, we can assign keywords. Like, for example, in my metadata template, I did say one of the keywords was Kerpalu. So it automatically checked that one for me. Now you have defaults of New York and Paris and San Francisco, which I'm sure we're going there just like every day. How do I make my own here? Well, let's look at these photographs here. Start up here and shift click all the way down to this one right here. Okay, in all of those, they are all Kerpalu. But you see this right here? That means basically that some are and some aren't. If I click on that, I can make them all Kerpalu if I want to do that. Now, there are people in these. So you click up here and say people. Now, if I come back out here, I do realize that a couple of these don't have people in them. So if I select this one, hold down the control key, and that's the command key on a Mac control windows, and we'll go ahead and select these four that don't have any people in them, and we'll turn that back off again. How do you make your own? Well, it's actually pretty simple. If you come down to this button right down here, we can assign a new keyword. When we do, there it is up here. And let's call this one hiking. Now, once we select it up here, we can come back down here and click here and assign sub keywords, like maybe group and another one, say single. These people here are all hiking. And I'm using the control key, and that's command on a Mac control and Windows, to select them. And I'm going to say hiking. And everyone is a group except this one. He's single. We'll go ahead and group them. Then we'll reselect this one, turn off group. It's just easier this way. And turn on single. Now, the cool thing about this is if you look to the left in the filter panel, there are the keywords. Just by clicking on them, I can select. So we're getting more and more focused on what we need in an image in terms of data and stacking and whatever we're doing to find out of possibly hundreds of thousands of images exactly what we need quickly.